And in certain respects, the St. Louis area has been a tale of two pandemics with very different responses to COVID-19. All new at 10, Fox 2's Andy Banker reports that St. Louis city and county with prolonged lockdowns and mask mandates paid an economic price, while neighboring St. Charles and Jefferson counties got a boost. Being able to get our employees into work every single day, that made all the difference. Business is booming at J. Bloom, which engraves custom jewelry and travel cups in St. Charles County. The owners say it likely could not have happened in St. Louis County, where there were extended lockdowns on businesses deemed non-essential in 2020. We may have slowed down because of the pandemic at first, but we were able to still keep that momentum going. And so staying open definitely helped us continue to grow after that. The company transitioned from mostly at-home jewelry parties to mostly online direct shipping. Brett Brown, of course, he says sales multiplied at a dizzying pace. He says after the initial downturn when the pandemic hit, business grew 60% for the rest of 2020, then another 59% last year. So much, so fast, they had to get a bigger building. For us to tell them what was essential and what wasn't, to tell them that you know uh, going to church on Sunday is or isn't essential is, is just not the role that I see for government. Jefferson County joined St. Charles County in stopping prolonged lockdowns and mask mandates. State taxable sales records show it was good for business with people from St. Louis City and County heading to neighboring counties to dine out and shop. In 2020, taxable sales rose 5% in St. Charles County. They rose 7.5% in Jefferson County. They fell by a whopping 24% in the city of St. Louis and it dropped more than 7% in St. Louis County. The current levels probably will not be sustained as the city and county, St. Louis city and county open up. A lot of the people who did go to St. Charles during the pandemic though, will probably start using resources close to home. Still developments like the streets of St. Charles have filled with new shops, restaurants and people. This group includes a woman who lives in Bridgeton and another who works in the city. They now prefer to meet for lunch here, where the county executive never issued a mask mandate and there's been no significant jump in COVID cases. It's definitely day and night with the mask mandate. I mean, they give people more of a choice. In hindsight, it looks like it was a good decision. We just got to instill confidence in our economy in St. Louis County uh, going forward that uh, we're not going to go through these draconian methods. <laughs> St. Louis city and county did show significant taxable sales growth again in 2021. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.